welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. I'm Special K, and we are finally doing. Finally! 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 Doing so Ciroc. Let me hear it over here. Finally! Finally! Uh, Ciroc Snap Frost Vodka distilled from fine French grapes. Not regular French grapes, they're fine. People uh, have been asking us France. to do Ciroc for so long. This is 80 per. It's expensive. I paid. I got. I paid 28 bucks for this bottle, which is really cheap. Yeah, it ain't bad for Ciroc. Uh, as you can see, we've already been drinking this. Um, it's from what I drink of it, it's pretty good. But we're gonna do a actual review for you guys. So uh, let's go a little bit more right You will be surprised. Now good. that's clickbait. You will be surprised. Yeah. All right, so. Let's take a quiff, shall we? See, it almost reminds me, it's almost got Juniper-esque. It's, yeah, uh, it smells it. very alcoholic. Yeah. Uh, and as far as that goes, not generally what you're looking for out of a $30 bottle of vodka, but hey, different strokes. Some people like a hotter vodka, that's yeah. okay. It does remind me of G uh, gin a little bit, like it does. It does, I would probably, I might mistake this for gin. Honestly? Shall we? I feel like it does have a little bit of a taste, but it is kind of smooth. What vodka what is what is that taste? Like? It's a little bit sweet. It is. It's got like a almost a tartness to it. Or it tastes, something. You know what it tastes like is like sort of medicine-y. It tastes it, not like not like the flavored medicine, but it tastes like this would make you better from some sort of ailment. It's sweet for vodka too. Like yeah, it's, it's a pretty weird sweet. description. It's got a, it's got a um, sweet sort of taste said, to it. That being said, it's still pretty smooth. It's pretty it's not h harsh. Mm -hmm. Um it's not bad. It's really not. I think not. Yeah, it's I'm trying to decide if I'm willing to pay like 30 bucks for a bottle of Ciroc though. Like just, well, we just did, this right so. here. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm trying to decide if I'm willing to do it a second time. I mean, if you're looking for the key characteristics Key characteristics are vodka, which is flavorless and odorless, colorless. Um, it does have a slight flavor yeah. to it, and it does have a scent. It doesn't quite meet, but but the scent is mostly alcohol. Yeah, like that's mostly. Scent. It's got a little bit of this sort of weird juniper scent. I don't know. Is uh, this actually vodka. I'm gonna make yeah, sure. it says it says vodka. Okay, never mind. Uh, I think my lips numb. I'm gonna give this a. I think it's a seven. It's five times distilled. I think this is a seven vodka, and that's knocking off an entire point for the price, because um, it is pricey. Because there are plenty Damn. of thirteen and fourteen dollar bottles of vodka, which are substantially better, and those are literally half the price. I'm gonna give it a six. Like that—that that includes the—that includes the the knockoff for price. But here's the thing: I I, I don't I don't want to buy a vodka to mix into other things. Right. Because when I do have vodka, it's usually just like a little bit of just straight vodka in a glass. Now, and see, uh, well, we drank this on vacation while my wife did. Breathing. Actually, I drank some of it too. I drank this with Gatorade. She drank it with pineapple juice. Um, That's not bad. It's good. We're drinking this with a Minute Maid Light, like mm. a light lemonade. Yeah, that actually works really well together. It's not carbonated. These, it, it these does, two things do really well. It does do some. It does do really well together. Mm. A little bit of tartness. Barely tell there's any vodka in there. I think it is um, better as a mixer. Oh uh, yeah, that's going to be a 7.5 as a mixer um, for the vodka. Is it worth the price? Mm, I still don't think so. Is it a good vodka? Yeah, it's a good vodka. It's not a great vodka. Um, I said it is overpriced. Um, we're going to do a few head heads with this. We'll find out yeah. definitively. I've, I've got better. one that I really want to do blind. Like I really want to go into this blind and try and decide for my for my myself with a no bias. I'm thinking of one that I want to try against it. But mixed, this is better mixed. I give it a seven mixed, and I feel like that's got something more to do with what we're mixing it with because it's not super sweet. If it had been super sweet, this would have been a really really sweet drink. But it is, as it was, the vodka took a lot of the sweetness out of the Minute Maid as it stands, and now it just tastes like really, um, really good. <laughs> it tastes, it just tastes like the smell, it tastes like the smell of lemons. Lemonade is delicious. Mm. Um, vodka is best mixed with citrus drinks anyway, so. Mm. 
All right, well, uh, that's our episode. If, uh, first, do you recommend it? Yes. Uh, um, I recommend it, though, so that you can have the bottle, right? Once you finish the bottle, you have the bottle in your possession. Refill it with cheaper vodka. Svetka. Yeah. Finlandia. Svetka. Finland. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, the, the one that's in the square bottle with the city in the background. Amsterdam, New Amsterdam. Yeah, New Amsterdam. Fill with New Amsterdam. No one will know. New, this is three times more than New Amsterdam. Yeah. You can buy three bottles of New Amsterdam for one bottle of Syrah. So, but, all right, that's our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on our channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm special K. And I'm Radar. Thanks for watching. <laughs>